ट्रांसपेरेंसी Sir, in the working aspect, there are both positives as well as negatives. Sir, when one talks about positives, sir, it has assured transparency and the right of public to seek information and hold their public representatives accountable. And sir, as far as the negatives are concerned, sir, we see that certain public authorities were not under RTI Act initially, and sir, the the officers that are uh, assumed to be giving information do not perform their tasks well. so there are also reports that the information is not collated in a way that they could be given to the public for educational purposes but sir recently the decision of chief justice of india to come under the rti act and other judgments have paved a good way for the rti act sir. and there have been for against the activities uh, activists there has been some problems also some have been killed also yes sir yes sir hmm? some activists have been killed and lives had been jeopardized acha okay in, in near your place some new bridge has been inaugurated sir. what is that uh, sir it is shri krishna bridge which has been inaugurated on the ganga river and sir it has reduced the distance between north and southern bihar so especially between munger and khagaria will you benefited by that yes sir acha okay booster dose uh, coming in newspapers tell me something about that Uh, sir the government of india has announced that all people above 18 years of age who have completed 9 months from their second dose would be eligible to get the booster dose and sir as far as the recent guidelines are concerned so the vaccine that already has been taken only that could be taken as a booster dose and sir as of now the mix policy has not been followed so oh, cost uh, sir it would be initially given by the private sector sir what is the cost Uh, sir, I am not aware about okay. it. Okay, it will not be free. Sir, right now it is not free, sir. But I find in the newspapers, uh, 185 crore doses have been given all free. Is it correct? Uh, sir, not all doses have been free. Hmm. People who were allowed to go to the private sector could have given the money that way, sir. Sir, my first dose itself was in a private hospital. Hmm. sir i have also paid for that initially so it means that advertisement is wrong it is written all free uh, sir initially when the vaccination drive was rolled private sector could procure and vaccinate people by taking money so sir i think that should be excluded sir after when the government of india came out with a pan india proposal to give vaccination then sir it was free. okay two days back some word disease day was celebrated parkinsons Uh, sir i'll have to read on this uh, sir april 11 parkins okay. who is the senior uh, senior most law officer in the country uh, sir it is, it is the attorney general of india okay and second senior most uh, sir solicitor general of india okay thank you thank you sir you are a doctor sir what are the common viral or bacterial infections uh, which are there in bihar uh, sir the viral would be sir smallpox sir dengue and sir chicken guinea uh, and sir in bacterial uh, sir there are instances of uh, salmonellosis uh, sir acute diarrheal infections due to e coli and sir this is uh, what okay. i can recall sir. do you feel bihar has been left out of india's growth story till now uh, so while there is an instance a decade when bihar's growth was not at par with the national growth but sir in the recent 10 years bihar is on the path of development and becoming a saga in the growth process of india sir okay all right and how is bihar utilizing its demographic dividend uh, so there have been negatives as well as positive aspects to it so the unemployment rate has been higher than the national average in bihar and sir out migration has also led to under utilization of the demographic dividend but sir in the recent 4 to 5 years 
Bihar has been able to rope up its human resource for its own development by setting up certain mega food parks, food industries, textile industries, like stuff, sir. You know, a doctor is already a public service, being a doctor. So why do you want to join the civil services? Uh, sir, civil services would give me an opportunity to diversify my area, sir. So later on, I could be associated with policy making. And sir, I can deal with health on a whole. For example, sir, in the field of water, in the field of sanitation and preventive health, sir. And sir, apart from this, there is, there is also a personal anecdote to it. So uh, while serving as the vice president of my college, I had to face certain administrative issues. I also got an opportunity to interact with certain eminent people. And sir, I saw that administration has a huge role to play, even the delivery of healthcare systems could be concerned. Okay. You also do journaling. Sir. What is the utility of journaling? Sir, journaling helps me to bring out my creative expression. So journaling also helps me to bring out my emotional intelligence when I am able to write down the kind of emotions that I feel. And sir, in that way, I am also able to regulate them in a better way. So apart from that, journaling helps me to plan my life. For example, sir, how do I see myself five years down the line? What I need to do in cases of social issues, that is also one of my hobbies. So sir, journaling has helped me to become a better aware and informed person, I would say. Okay, all right. You also do skits. Sir. What is the definition or meaning of a skit? A sir, skit is the e expression or the experimentation of a real life incident which can be told through a story. So is it a street play kind of a thing or how exactly does it work? Uh, sir, it is not exactly a screenplay like thing. Uh, sir, it basically hovers around the real life stories. It cannot be fictitious. And sir, it involves certain characters who portray certain roles so as to convey certain messages to the society. So what contemporary social issues uh, you have written? Uh, sir, recently I wrote a skit on the impact of social media on children. Okay, and what did you write? What has been the impact? Uh, sir, the impact could be seen in all spheres. So firstly, the children are losing their interest in their own studies, sir. So this motivation came from my own 13-year-old cousin, whom we saw that was so much engrossed into social media during the last two years because of her, because of which her studies were hampered. So sir, that I could say as the first impact from my own experience. So secondly, there is a psychological impact of too much being on social media. So thirdly, teenagers could fall into prey of blue whale games and certain stuffs which could jeopardize their mental health. And so fourthly, even the smaller children, so when their screen time increases, that has an ill impact on their eyes which could lead them to be myopic in the near future. Sir. Okay. Last question. You have done telemedicine during COVID. I yes, sir. Finally. So do you think telemedicine is effective? Uh, sir, I believe telemedicine is effective. Uh, sir, telemedicine is a good way to look at diseases for which patients need not visit the doctors. Sir, in this regard, telemedicine can solve some issues regarding the lesser doctor-patient ratio that exists. And sir, telemedicine could be a harbinger of health changes at the very ground level. However, sir, the issue of digital device and the Praise of the doctor to not be able to physically examine the patient is a limit to it. But sir, I suppose that in the near future, it has a bright thing to do in our health system. Okay. Is it regulated? Uh, sir, it is regulated by a guideline that was given in 2020 by Niti Ayo and Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Sir, however, concrete guidelines are yet to be given. Yeah, Anshu, so uh, which silk is this? Which you are wearing? What do you call this? Ma'am, this is Bhagalpuri silk. Bhagalpuri silk. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And uh, uh, how is this? And the print is also, uh, what do you call this painting? Ma'am, this, ma this is Madhubani painting. Yeah, all from Bihar. Okay. And uh, how is the situation? This is what kind of industry it is produced in? It is like small scale or medium scale? What exactly is that? Ma'am, it is small scale hmm. uh, as of now in the areas of Bhagalpur and Munger, ma'am. Okay, and uh, how is uh, the situation of artisans who are working on this at the moment, uh, post-COVID now? 
Uh, ma'am, unfortunately, their condition has not been that bright post COVID. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, before COVID, Mithila paintings and sarees with Mithila paintings had huge market share. But ma'am, due to the impact of pandemic and drying up of the capital, this industry has not been doing that well, ma'am. Any products from there which has GI tags? A uh, pardon, ma'am. Any product from uh, uh, Bihar which has a GI tag? Uh, ma'am, there are uh, products like. Uh, uh, Ma'am, Zardalu mango is one such mm. and uh, ma'am, apart from that, ma'am, I will have to read, I am no not problem. able to What is so special right about Bhagalpur silk? Ma'am, Bhagalpur silk is known for its huge and very good quality of the silk that is being uh, manufactured over there, ma'am. So, when you say good quality silk, what does it mean? Ma'am, the silk is not that prone to environmental damages and weather effects, ma'am. Can you just explain that, how? Uh, ma'am, I may not be sure about the mechanism. I'll read on that, ma'am. Uh, migration. So, what is this migration stress and why so many people migrate from Bihar? Ma'am, migration stress is the outflow of human resources from Bihar. And ma'am, the reasons could be, ma'am, firstly, lack of industrialization in Bihar due to which unemployment rate remains high. Ma'am, secondly, it is also about the prevailing law and order situation, ma'am, in which many Biharis who are affluent find other places much more secure. And ma'am, thirdly, it has to do with the aspirations of Biharis. Ma'am, Biharis are always open to experiencing changes in the outer world and states outside. So, ma'am, these. So, are these uh, are. the reservation in different states, reservation on uh, employment, does that impact uh, Bihar's economy or the living of Bihar people? Because in a lot of states, there are a lot of people from Bihar who migrate to different different states. For example, in Haryana, there is this uh, reservation now. So, how does that impact Bihar? Uh, ma'am. In Haryana recently, there was reservation announced in the private sector job, ma'am. Mm. Ma'am, if that is enforced, that could hamper the migration of workers from Bihar to Haryana. And ma'am, the workers of Bihar are well trained, they are available at a very dear rate, and ma'am, they add to the economy of other states like Haryana. So ma'am, in that regard, there could be certain but issues. But how do you view this that, uh, you know, instead of uh, focusing on their states and in instead of contributing in their own state, they are contributing in some other state, the economy of other state. So, what is your view on that? Ma'am, I think uh, there are both positive and negative sides to it. Ma'am, talking about the negative sides, ma'am, this is, this represents the outflow of human resources and human capital from Bihar, which could be retained in the state for the betterment of the state. But ma'am, talking about the positive aspect, ma'am, I think the workers or the labors of Bihar or are contributing to the GDP of our nation in whichever states they are, ma'am, and enhancing their economy. But ma'am, we should try to retain them in our own state by industrializing our Bihar so that ma'am, Bihar prospers on its own dint. So, how is Bihar contributing in Atma Bhairbhar Bharat? Uh, ma'am, Bihar recently, ma'am, the Prime Minister, the Honorable Prime Minister announced for a mega uh, textile park in Bihar. Ma'am, secondly, there are renewable energy projects which are under the guidance of NTPC in mm -hmm. Bar. Ma'am, thirdly, Bihar is also going for huge production in agriculture and contributing to the food security of nation through Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana. Mm -hmm. And ma'am, the artisans that you mentioned in, in the beginning, ma'am, we also ha are having certain programs to map the skills of artisans so that ma'am, we can revive the textile sector of Bihar. Okay, one last question. Life of a doctor and life of an administrator, how are they similar? Ma'am, both the jobs come with their own challenges. And ma'am, in both the jobs, the ultimate aim is to go to the grassroots level and look at the problems of people. Ma'am, as a doctor, I mainly look from the aspect of health and curative part. But ma'am, as an administrator, I would look at their health from a very holistic part. For example, ma'am, what is the role of society, the role of economy, the role of polity in causing the health condition, ma'am? So, as an administrator, how would you ensure or how would you uh, promote uh, or encourage more doctors to come and work in rural parts of Bihar rather than migrating to other states and other countries for work. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, we need to 
install infrastructure in the rural areas so that ma'am doctors are able to utilize their own talents ma'am from my own experience i feel that doctors are quite willing to go to the rural areas provided that their talent is given justice to so ma'am that could be one issue most of our infrastructure in health is concentrated in the urban areas because of which the avenues in rural areas are almost absent ma'am the second thing that i could do is we could allow the spouses of doctors to remain in the same colleges in rural areas ma'am that would serve as an incentive for the institution of family and ma'am third thing ma'am we should encourage more students from rural areas to enroll into mbbs courses because ma'am rural students who have such kind of background would find it more fruitful to go back to their areas and serve the patients thank you thank you yeah. so i think there's another big bridge also in news from bihar in the last uh, one two weeks yes sir what was that about uh, sir that is in the rohtas district right so it was a defunct bridge not used and sir uh, unfortunate incidents followed and some interlocutors came and just stole it away is what they stole I, a bridge yes sir i am aware right. uh, what is the experience of prohibition how do you see uh, prohibition in bihar in the last 6 7 years as a woman and as a person living in bihar how do you see this a uh, sir prohibition laws was intended in a right direction and sir there are certain positives to it for example sir the nfhs data shows that there was a 14% reduction in the domestic violence against women after the prohibition law so second there was also an increase in the consumer goods consumption for example sir the consumption of honey uh, is what a report exclusively cites and sir there was reduction in the cases of eve teasing but sir the implementation of the law has faced certain issues for example sir we were not able to tackle the parallel illegal liquor and illegal market that surfaced in bihar and the cross border smuggling of alcohol that takes place sir sir apart from that we could also see that the poor people are disproportionately burdened because of this law and sir thirdly as the honorable chief justice of india also pointed out that the patna high court has been flooded with certain litigations concerning the prohibition law so although sir the impact uh, was assumed to be very noble and it has also had certain aspects but sir we do have certain challenges in front of us should we implement this at a pan india level sir i may not say to implement it at a pan india level uh sir i say this because first of all we need to make people aware about what are the consequences of taking alcohol sir unless people themselves know the kind of harsh effects that this could have on health so we may not be able to actually de addict them and sir second thing is without having de addiction centers sir without seeing the illegal trade that could flourish this should not be implemented and sir bihar is a case in point that shows that even though the intent of the law is noble we need certain prerequisites for it to be successful is uh, bihar still considered to be a bimaru state or uh, what kind of development has bihar seen in the last one decade uh, sir bihar has seen quite a lot of development uh, so for example the annual growth rate of bihar has been 10% in the last decade which is more than the average of india sir second bihar has seen almost 10 to 17% rise in the literacy rate sir sir third is bihar's agricultural production has also increased a lot and sir fourthly in the domain of gender development and gender equality with yojanas like kanyakanya suraksha yojana we have tried to achieve the gender equality aspect as well sir so sir i would refrain to call bihar from a bimaru state and would say that bihar is on the path of progress and development okay uh, covid has taken a lot of attention away from other diseases like uh, tb hiv etc what has been the impact of covid on tb hiv uh, sir the recent uh, tuberculosis report says that we had increased incidences of tuberculosis during the covid pandemic sir and sir similar is the case with hiv diseases sir so that basically occurred because our entire health infrastructure was directed towards the management of pandemic which perhaps shifted our attention away from these diseases in general and sir other diseases as well what are the new variants uh, with respect to covid and how well prepared are we to deal with this uh sir we have recent variants in the form of xe xd and xf 
sir xe and xf are the recombinant variants of uh, delta and omicron answer xd is the variant of omicron ba.1 and ba.2 sir uh, sir the who guidelines say that these are more infectious but sir the clinical outcome has not been ascertained and sir as far as the preparation part is concerned uh, the health ministry has said that we are well prepared to face it and sir having seen the pandemic uh, for last three years i suppose that our medical infrastructure is well equipped to handle any pandemic if it comes in the future sir you have written a combined medical service examination yes sir result awaited yes sir let's assume a scenario where you get a positive result there and you get a rank which does not get you the top three four services what would you choose uh, sir i would like to go for civil services civil services even if you get the combined medical services yes sir okay so thank you so much thank you sir